Hey everybody, and welcome to our exclusive Big Brother Canada 4 exit interview show. Now, look, you're probably wondering, what? What is this show all about? It's about you guys. Every single week on Thursday night when the house guest is eliminated, you need to tweet myself or Dana right there at Reality Recaps or at D Goodyear and send us your question for the evicted house guest. And then we'll ask the best ones right here on this show. Now, if you're watching on our website, comment below. We want to know what you guys think. If you're listening in iTunes, five-star rating and a nice review. YouTube, you can click on these buttons, thumbs up and subscribe. Those are great ways to help support our show for free. But free isn't going to get you backyard interviews where you're asking your questions live to the house guests. Oh, that's right. We've been invited to the backyard and we're going to get to do all of the finale interviews live taking your questions. But it kind of costs a lot of money to get there. So if you're not, consider becoming a patron, yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. You get access to the patron-only Facebook groups, shows and content only for patrons, spoilers that we can't post publicly, so much more. But most importantly, it really is what keeps our website up and running. It's simple, it's easy, you do it right through PayPal. You can also make a one-time PayPal donation over there too. So check it out because we need your help and we only got like a month and a half or two left. So check that out. And if you want to see all of our Big Brother Canada 4 content, head over to yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbcan4. You'll see our blogs, our shows with past house guests and uh, house guests from other Big Brother seasons. You know, we, we do a lot of shows here at Reality Recaps. We don't just do Big Brother Canada. But live feed updates, so much more. Check it all out over on our website. But enough. Enough about that. Let's get to what you really want to hear from and who you want to hear from the evicted house guest this week. Hey Shari, how you doing? I am fabulous. How you doing, Dana? I'm great. Okay, I have three questions for you. Okay, let's hear it. All right. Levita was pretty aggressive during your first HOH and you paid for it. Was there oh. any point during that week you realized she would be hurting your game and did you ever t tell her to dial it back just to get You know what? I actually... <sighs> I didn't tell her to dial it back or anything like that. I feel like what I should have done was just kind of look out for myself more and built trust with other people. Um, I don't want to say that Levita was the reason why I was evicted. I put myself in that position. Um, but I didn't, I definitely wanted to kind of stick with my alliance and protect them. That was my plan. So no, I didn't tell her to dial back or anything <laughs> like that. No, that's her um, game. I got my game. <laughs> Okay, so here we have a question from a fan on Twitter because we're all about fans here at Your Reality Recaps. At I am sick and twisted wants to know why did you never confront Levita about saying the things against you? She said when she was campaigning. Good question. You know, a lot of people ask me that. I didn't confront her because I was on the block. I was trying to save myself, and that's not my priority. I had the information I needed. I knew what Levita was doing, um, and. It was my priority to save myself, not to start arguments. I don't see what that would have done for me and for my game. It just would have been a waste of time, really. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, this is the best one. Okay. Now that Levita is HOH for a second time, yes. if you could call her and give her any advice about who to nominate, who to align with, or how to run her HOH, what would it be? I would definitely tell Levita to speak to the house. Levita's in the game by herself at this point. She needs to speak to the house and see where everybody's looking to vote. I'm, I'm assuming the house would probably say Jared and Kelsey. She needs to earn respect right now. So I would probably tell her to go for something like that to try to get that back up so that if she stays in the house another week, she's got some help behind her. 